what is header bidding? Uh, header bidding is really the unification of direct demand and programmatic demand. Um, and it's the elimination of the waterfall, or it's a move towards the elimination of the publisher waterfall. And so what that is, is the traditional publisher ad stack was direct sales followed by exchange partners. So perhaps there was one exchange partner and another and another. And the way the flow of inventory would work is impressions would first see if they qualify for direct. If they did not, they would then attempt to qualify for the first exchange partner. And if it did not, it would then go successively until the, all the impressions were cleared. Uh, the change is unifying that where Direct and programmatic can sit adjacent to each other. Um, and that has opened up a world of possibilities because when you expose the buy side to all available inventory, they're able to see their audiences in a lens that they perhaps were not able to do so before. Um, ultimately what it means and where the, the, you know, the rubber hits the road is JavaScript that sits on the publisher's website. Um, so as you can imagine, historically with just a publisher ad server, the ad server was JavaScript that sat on the page that activated the entire sequence of events that led to a delivered ad. Um, now programmatic, activated through the header, sits on page two with JavaScript and can set the same series of events uh, in motion, but do so in parallel uh, with the ad server. So what's, I think, very interesting about header bidding is it will be equally, if not potentially more uh, impactful on video than it has been on display, because video has a very unique supply constraint. Uh, video inventory, as everybody knows, is supply constraint. The vast majority of video impressions are sold upfront. Um, 80, 90 percent of publisher inventory is gone before there's ever a chance for that to hit the market. But if you can imagine what that does to programmatic buyers is hides the vast majority of true video supply from a buyer's strategy, from its forecasting engines, from its ability to assess the availability of, of their access to their users. So what a header bidding scenario can do for video is make the buy side aware of all available supply, um, such that if a publisher did sell 90% upfront, rather than the publisher broadcasting just the 10% that remains, which is a narrow view of their supply, they could broadcast 100%, potentially sell a very specific 10% of the 100 to programmatic buyers, still sell the entirety of the inventory, but do so at a price premium um, rather than at a reduced price. So if you kind of look at a classic implementation of programmatic with video, you're selling the last 10% that wasn't sold directly and you're trying to just get rid of it. You're trying to sell it at whatever price the market will bear rather than saying, this is programmatic access to video, it should be sold at a premium and can be done so if you do give the buyers the chance to find their true audience across the entire swath of inventory. So forecasting is not very effective and programmatic in their traditional waterfall um, because the buyers only know what audience remains. So for instance, if you attempt to forecast in Q4 as a buyer, you're not gonna see much available inventory at all or very avail availability of your audience. If you try to forecast in Q1, you're gonna see a lot of availability. But if you're trying to plan for the year, it breaks that model. Um, so forecasting in a header bidding scenario for a video publisher actually fixes the buy side challenge with forecasting today because they're able to see everything and they're then able to plan for their audiences in the future regardless of what direct sell through rates look like at any particular point in the calendar. So will header bidding unify or consolidate the supply side of the ecosystem? It's an interesting question. Um, it's hard to crystal ball and assess where we're going to be in a year or two years or three years. I think we will look different. I think the supply side of the ecosystem will change. Um, and I think that change was brought um, and, and driven by new thinking, um, where as a publisher, if you now have a unique or an additional lens of the market, where traditionally, as you can imagine in the waterfall, you had your primary vendor, your secondary vendor, your tertiary vendor. Most of your knowledge came from your primary vendor. And if, they're, and if they were doing a great job, then you were learning a lot. But if they weren't doing a great job, you didn't really know. Um, today, with a header bidding situation, you, you have no primary vendor. You have one vendor, you have another vendor, maybe you have a third vendor, and they all have equal access to your inventory. So you have a, a multiple lenses of the market. Um, what we're seeing is that is signaling new thinking in the market that um, I think will usher in changes to ad stacks, to configurations, to monetization strategies. Um, probably will change the vendor ecosystem, but it's hard to predict how that'll manifest. So for ad networks in the ecosystem today, I would say header bidding doesn't necessarily change their model much if they've pivoted to programmatic. Um, so I, I think a lot of ad networks today have recognized that publishers have opted to pick SSPs or exchanges for their primary um, inventory monetization um, uh, next to direct sales. 
Um, and in that situation, if you're accessing inventory through DSPs, um, you're actually going to see your access elevate because in a header bidding scenario, you no longer are somewhere hidden in the waterfall. You're, you actually have top shot at the inventory. Um, so I don't think it necessarily impacts ad networks that have embraced programmatic. I do think ad networks that are reliant on tags in the waterfall will probably be challenged because the inventory that will remain in the waterfall will only be what's left over after both direct and now programmatic and the header take likely the best audiences away. So I would say to any ad network that hasn't evolved in the programmatic, that's something that they ought to do and they can actually benefit from this new innovation. Uh, what are publishers seeing in terms of uplift in, in yield? Is, what, what's, is there an average or is there, are there certain types of publishers who benefit more than others? Or? Um, I, I, <clears throat> with respect to the, the lift in yield header bidding has driven, it's publisher dependent. Um, we've seen some unbelievable stories of publishers who double their revenues or increase CPMs by 50% or 75%. We also see publishers that are maybe seeing a more um, you know, nominal increase but still beneficial increase, maybe it's a 20% revenue lift. Generally speaking, we have yet to see a, a publisher who has not seen an increase in revenue. And there's a few reasons why. Um, header bidding is a more optimal way to start the sequence of events that lead to a delivered ad because it starts as the page um, commences its rendering. Um, so as you can imagine, if as the page commences rendering, we're able to go to the market, select an ad, and deliver the creative, and then at some point in the page's rendering, we get to the ad slot, at that moment in time, we're already ready to deliver an ad. Traditionally, through a waterfall, as the page was rendering and the ad slot started, we then went out to market, Maybe we went out to one exchange or a second exchange or a third exchange, and then eventually we found the ad and delivered it. That led to poor user experience, slower loading ads, generally lower viewability, um, basically an overall poor process to sequence these events together. Um, so I would say outside of any potential yield lifts, the user experience benefit um, is creating a lift in and of itself, uh, better metrics, better viewability, and more revenue upside. And then you've also unified your stack, removed any potential vendor bias, and exposed buyers to more inventory, which is invariably going to generate more yield. This is having a huge impact on viewability, um, and it's that sequence of events. Um, so if, if we've already gone out to market in the header and have the creative by the time the ad slot needs to render, the ad loads instantly. If we have to go out to the market as the ad slot is rendering, we might have to wait two, three, four, five hundred milliseconds before we've sold it, and then render the ad. So as you can imagine, in a world of viewability and close metric management, the faster the ads load, the better your viewability metrics are going to be. And we've actually proven with publishers who were traditionally in the waterfall, who transitioned to the header, all viewability scores go up. And we have viewability in the platform from Moat, from Comscore, from IAS, and we've been able to observe in isolated A-B cases, viewability does rise uh, when a header bidder is implemented.